Hello, my name is Ferrin Monreal and I'm the VCN 3D product designer. It's been a while since our company announced that we are going to release the new Smart Cabinet. Since then, I've been thinking in all the user experience, the features and the aesthetics of the product, and now here it is. I'm really happy to be next to it. I'm Enrique, the project engineer of the Smart Cabinet, and today we are going to introduce our newest 3D printing solution. We did overcome a lot of challenges in terms of firmware, ceiling, controlled environment, but finally, here we are. So, Fermin, why do we need a smart cabinet? Well, in order to answer that question, we should introduce three concepts. The first one, reliability. The second one, user experience. And the third one, all-in-one solution. Definitely. Now it's time to talk about the improvements in the user experience in terms of reliability. First of all, we can take profit of the performance of our materials in terms of mechanical and statical properties. But how's that? As you may know, there's a huge 3D printing enemy that's called humidity. When you can control that variable, you will get much better results when printing your parts. Here you can see an example of two printed parts. The one on the left is printed from the smart cabinet, which comes on a smart drying system. The one on the right is printed from a non-regulated environment. Well, that's amazing. I can see how the printed part from the smart cabinet looks so much better. And also, we have seen that the mechanical performance comes out better. So, can you explain why? Humidity causes bad layer addition because of the air bubble that appears when you're using wet materials. The opposite happens when printing with properly dried materials due to the better molecular bonds and a proper layer addition. Besides, a filament that has been exposed to humidity is very likely to provoke nozzle clogging and leads eventually to print failure. I can tell that. When I put something to print, it feels really smooth and reliable since the first units that we built of the smart cabinet in our BC and 3D lab. Now it's time to talk of one of the biggest fears when printing large model a power outage. Yes, definitely. I've been there so many times. I think nobody likes to waste time on printing filament. I think it's the, the worst situation on the whole user experience of a 3D printer. For me as a designer, I really love Epsilon printers because its large print volume allows me to print objects in real scale. And this makes some prints last more than two days. And imagine if you are printing something big and on the 80 or the 90 percent, you lose your print job due to a power outage. This generates a lot of frustration. So, Enric, can you explain how a smart cabinet allows us to avoid this kind of situation? Well, we have integrated an intelligent UPS system that allows the smart cabinet to detect short and large power outages. During the large power outages, the smart cabinet will pause the print job and then store its last position. During the short power outages, the smart cabinet will supply the needed energy to keep working and the printer won't notice anything. There's no doubt that the Smart Cabinet is a really great tool for your workbench. But with the Smart Cabinet, we not only provide a technical solution, we also have improved the user experience with a new filament interaction. Yes, you're right. Maybe it's time to talk about the improvements in the user experience. Yes, indeed. So, Fermin, how can we explain the difference between loading the filament from the smart cabinet in comparison with doing it from the printer? The smart cabinet integrates a new system for both loading and storing filaments, the new BCN3D spool cartridge. As a user, I find it very handy to have the filament controlled on the same volume during the process of loading and unloading, and this is exactly what the BCN3D spool cartridge offers. As you can see, this system simplifies the distribution of spools, which are automatically centered through a magnet. Nice, so the handling of the materials becomes much easier. And how many of these spool carriages can you fit inside the smart cabinet? A total of six, two for print and four on the parking area. Nice. Besides the spool carriages, the smart cabinet can also fit XL size spools, so the user can print for longer hours without a need to change the filament. Is that true? Yes, there's the possibility of going to another different layout who allows the user to store and print with XL spools or regular spools, both of them without using the BCN3D spool cartridge. 
that's definitely a good feature. By choosing this way, this means that the filament is less controlled during all the loading and unloading process. We highly recommend to use the BCN 3D spool cartridges due to its user experience. But on the other hand, if you use this system, you can store up to 10 regular spools or to 4XL spools. I really like the way that the spool cartridges keeps everything nice and clean. Before them, I used to fight a lot with the filaments when loading the filament or unloading the filament. And I also like the fact that you can switch to three kilogram spools. We have talked about two different concepts, reliability and user experience, but we didn't analyze the fact that all those features are centralized in one single device. We could say that this smart cabinet is an all-in-one solution. That's true. The smart cabinet brings to the market an all-in-one industrial solution that allows the user to have all the necessary hardware like tools, printing filaments, or even a laptop stored in one single station, and this improves the workflow a lot. For example, here in BCMCD, like in many other companies, we like to have each space focused for one specific technology, and on that space, each coworker can find everything necessary to work with. It is simply not handy to need to go up and down on the whole workshop for find everything necessary to work for just use one printer. I fully agree. Actually, the side tray is one of my favorite features because it contains every tool that the user needs. Indeed, when using a 3D printer, the user often needs some auxiliary tools to set the printer properly and to perform certain tasks like removing a printed part, changing a clock button, or cutting the filament. Right. We can see that in the upper zone, there's a drawer that contains the relative humidity controller. But what do we do with the left space in the lower zone? We decided to use it as a storage compartment to keep new filament spools, printing glasses, and anything else that can be useful in your daily workflow. We should also mention that our Epsilon printers have a massive print volume and a fully enclosed chamber. Those are great features, but at the end, it's a big printer and it's difficult to move or transport. That's why we made the smart cabinet so easy to move around. So that the user is able to move the whole station even while printing. We have already shared most of the details of our new BCN 3D smart cabinet. I hope that this webinar was useful for you and to have solved at least some of your doubts of our latest 3D printing solution. Do not hesitate to contact us if you have any more questions about the Smart Cabinet or any other of our products. You can do so on bcn3d.com or through our social media channels. Thank you for your time and happy 3D printing.